this particular insert has six seats and it's just a, a, a larger space here. The older vans had a dividing line. This is what Baltimore policing in the 21st century looks like. City police will now have more room to safely seatbelt detainees. The new vans also have a side compartment to transport prisoners. If you have men and women, adult and juvenile, to separate them inside the vehicle with having adequate space. I got it. Don't worry about it. The police in custody death of Freddie Gray prompted the City Board of Estimates to authorize spending $200,000 to improve van safety. A year ago in April, police put Gray into a van cuffed and shackled but did not seatbelt him. He broke his neck and died a week later. The interiors of all the vans have changed. Thirteen older models currently have the new configuration. Nine other police wagons are in the process of being replaced by these. The department is still in the process of installing new cameras that will record activity in the vans. Currently, cameras do not record. There are two cameras on the interior of this, one in the back corner here and one in the front corner here uh, that captures the interior of the van. There's a camera inside a side compartment and a camera to record activity outside the van doors. The material will be stored on a cloud for at least four years. And the person that's driving the van will have a monitor here with a split screen that gives you a visual of all four cameras. The new cameras automatically turn on and run continuously. It's not anything that the drivers or any officer is able to manipulate. Van changes are part of a larger effort to build more accountability into policing. City police are equipping officers with body cameras. In July, they'll roll out software to provide officers policy, procedure, and training updates on their phones and computers. These are just steps towards just 21st century best practices. You may have noticed that all the vans came equipped with seat belts. There are bumpers on the seats to prevent sliding and straps along the wall so cuffed prisoners have something to hang on to. Reporting live from downtown, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.